I encourage you to stay tuned to the end of this video and I'm going to be sharing with you five remedies, five remedies that's not in my book that you don't want to miss. You're going to want to stay tuned for that, okay? So I'm going to, this is a continuation of my book. Hope you have a copy. If you don't, you can get it. There's an ebook available and you can get a copy at any bookstore. Just go there. If they don't have it on their shelf, just ask for a copy and it's available online. And you can also get an autographed copy from my website at Terry Temple. Org. So I'm going to continue in my book. Right here we're on page 117. We're on page 117 and I am at the bottom of the page and I'm on the natural God-given remedy, lavender. Lavender. Okay? Lavender is another huge blessing found in the herbal kingdom. Many of us are familiar with using lavender in our bath, but there are other valuables as valuable uses as well. English lavender can also be used in balms, salves, perfumes, cosmetics, and topical applications. Essential oil of lavender has an antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties and can be used on sore muscles and joints. Lavender extract smells great and is most commonly used as aromatherapy and in a bath. You may use lavender to help you relax or it can be applied, diluted, directly to your skin. I have applied lavender mixed with almond oil on my abdomen and other parts of my body to help relieve anxiety and even to alleviate muscle spasm and strains with great results. Try now 100% pure and natural lavender oil. Dilute or mix it with the carrier oil such as jojoba, grapeseed, olive, or almond oil. Check out Aura Cassius Pure Aromatherapy Mist in Lavender to calm and relax you at bedtime. You may spray it in the air or directly on your skin. So this is the lavender right here that I use. This is now, now lavender. This is 100% pure lavender. You can get this, like I said, online at Swanson's for 50% off because it's kind of expensive because it works very well. This is a two ounce bottle. This lasts me about a month or two. I love mixing it with almond oil. What I do is I put it in my bath. I put it in my bath and also my husband massages it with me after I take a bath, the mixture with the almond oil. He gives me a massage and oh, oh I, can't I can't explain to you how relaxing and healing it is. Lavender is a true, beautiful, wonderful, God-given remedy. It is great if you have anxiety or panic attacks, lavender. There have been times I had panic attacks and I will rub some lavender on me or, or have my husband rub some lavender on me and 20, 30 minutes later I'm like a new person. It's like where a minute before it's like, oh, I'm going to have to go to urgent care or take some Xanax or something. It's like, no, I'm going to rub some lavender on me first and bam. I'm well. I love this stuff and it smells so great. I won't smell it even right now because I love it. Oh, I just, just, I love this stuff. And I use lavender all over my house. I use it. I use the plug-in lavenders. I use that. I use the, the carpet freshener lavender. I love this stuff. It's, there's so many remedies for lavender. Also lavender, if you have spiders, I'm going to throw this in there for you. If you have spiders, I did an article on this a few years ago. If you have spiders, use lavender. One time I went to uh, one time I went to Washington. I love Washington. I love visiting Washington. I went to Washington. I stayed in a cabin. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Stayed in a cabin for a whole month. Well, when I first got to the cabin, they had spiders. Boo cool spiders. Boo cool. One day I had opened the door, went out the front door, and my door frame was covered in spiders. Most of them were little baby spiders. I don't know what happened. The mother baby queen. Spider, whatever, must have just had a, a half a million babies or something. <laughs> they were all over my door frame. So anyway, uh, I did some research. I was like, this is crazy. What am I going to do? I called the office, the people that owned the cabin. They was like, there's nothing we can do. We don't have bug spray. We don't have nothing. I'm like, what? They had no, no help. So anyway, I did some research, found out about lavender. Went to the store, bought some lavender, and I had bought some cotton balls. I saturated <clears throat> the cotton balls with lavender, laid them around. And what I did do at first, I made a spray of lavender, I think mixed with water, part water and part uh, dishwashing soap. I mixed it up and I sprayed it around the door. But before I sprayed it, I accidentally spilt it. I really spilt the whole bottle of the lavender. 
And so anyway, I was like, now I got to get some more. So anyway, not even an hour later, I opened the door. All the spiders, spiders had totally disappeared. It was like there was never a spider there in the first place. I cannot believe it. So cotton balls, if you have spiders, get you some cotton balls. Saturate them with some lavender. You don't have to make them too wet. But saturate them a little bit. Dampen them with some cotton balls. Place them around your house. You'll never see a spider again. It works. I love it. Love it. Love the lavender. Love it. Okay, so lavender, the next, the next God-given remedy that God put here on planet earth when he created this earth, that his intention were for us to use them so we could be healed by them without having to go to a doctor or that a doctor could, could prescribe for us or should prescribe for us is passion flower. Passion flower. Many years ago, before I knew about passion flower, I used to take Xanax to help me sleep. And it let me it left me feeling fatigued, irritable, and even hostile. Needless to say, it was not worth the cost to continue using it. So I searched and with God's guidance, I learned about passion flower. This herb is excellent for those with health problems like anxiety, stress, panic attacks, tension, headaches, insomnia, nervous stomach, and other stomach ailments like gastritis. I've used this herb for several months now and it has worked wonders for me. It is worth a try. And this is passion flower right here. All of these are in these bottles with a little dropper. And usually what you do, you just take one dropper full. I usually take one dropper full. The, the bottle says to mix it with a little water. Sometimes I just put it under my tongue and then I'll just take a glass of water with it. But this is passion flower. Let me see. It also smells, it really smells sweet. It has a very good smell to it. Uh, but I love passion flower. This one is by uh, Nature's Answer. This is by Nature's Answer. I love passion flower. I take this. This is really great if you suffer from panic attacks or anxiety attacks. You want to try passion flower. And there's a lot of other remedies for this. That's why I suggest you get the book Back to Eden or do some research on the internet. There's a website that I love on the internet. It's called naturalherbsguide.org or .com. I can't remember. But it's Natural Herbs Guide. And they recommend tons of, of, of natural remedies. They have a bunch of ailments on there, at least about two, 300 ailments, if not more. And then it gives you the herbal uh, uh, indications for each one of those. So I recommend you do that, especially if you suffer from a lot of health problems. Who wants to keep going to the doctor every time you turn around? We don't have to. God gave us all these solutions because he loves us. And that's real love. Okay? So right now I'm still I'm on page 118 in my book. I'm on page 118 in my book. Now, I'm talking about progesterone. Progesterone. If you are going through perimenopause or menopause, you may appreciate natural progesterone. Before I discovered natural progesterone, I truly did feel on edge every day. I felt like my world was falling apart. It was awful. Then one day, about a year ago, while watching a TV episode of Bio Innovations with Dr. Becker and Cindy, I learned about natural progesterone. I immediately went out and purchased a bottle. After applying the cream to my skin, I felt like a brand new woman, totally calm, relaxed, together, and happy. I was relieved to finally feel a sense of equanimity. I can't pronounce that word. I haven't seen that word in a while, but normally I, I could pronounce that word. If you suffer from hormonal deficiencies, like many women experiencing perimenopause, usually in their 40s and 50s, then you may want to give NP a try. Please keep in mind that NP is not the same as the controversial synthetic formula prescribed by mainstream doctors, such as Provera, and does not have the same negative side effects. Some of the benefits of NP are it builds bones, it's a natural diuretic, and reduce cysts in the breast and PMS symptoms, to name a few. The brand I use is Progesticare by LifeFlow. It can be purchased over the counter at most health food stores or online. If you do not try the brand Progesticare, make sure the one you buy supplies at least 20 milligrams of natural progesterone per use and 480 milligrams per ounce. Like most medications, natural progesterone has a tendency to build up in your body, so therefore it may lose some of its effectiveness over time depending on how much you use it. And it may begin to have reverse side effects such as bloating and depression. So be sure you follow the label directions carefully. It says use it one day, a, uh, I think one time a day for 25 days and then you go off for five days or a week. And then you go back on, you apply it to different parts of your body each day or each time that you use it. So natural progesterone, I don't take it anymore because some 
uh, I don't need it anymore. But for years I took it. It was a lifesaver. I remember one time sitting on my couch after taking the gestural, after taking natural progesterone. I don't have any here now because I don't take it anymore. But I remember taking some, and I mean, I was like this. My nerves were, oh, I'm, I, I can't even explain how bad I felt. But I felt like I was hanging on the edge of a cliff just by my nails. That's how horrible I felt. So when I first heard about natural progesterone, thanks to Dr. Becker, I got a bottle, I put some on. I could not believe it. Not even 10 minutes later, I felt like this. I could not believe it. I felt so calm. Just even think about it now, make more cry because these remedies God has given us, when we take them and We've been suffering for so long, and then we take something to find out that it works like that with no major side effects, if any at all. Man, it's just overwhelming. It's overwhelming, and it just reminds me of God's grace and mercy and how much He really loves us and that we don't have to sit around and suffer. We don't. And so that, that natural progesterone changed my life. It changed my life the time that I had to take it. And so now I don't need it anymore. My hormones have been balanced. I think I still, after all those years of taking it, I think I still have a lot of it in my system, which is good because my nerves have lately have been so good. So they, don't, they haven't even been bothering me. And I know a lot of it has to do with that because I, I have been taking natural progesterone. So I encourage you to take natural progesterone. Also, uh, if, you have, if you're infertile, if you have fertility problems, try natural progesterone first because it can fix a lot of the problems, the hormone problems that's stopping or that's preventing you from, from conceiving. So just give it a try. Give it a try. Like I said, I'm not a medical doctor. Like I said, like I gave a disclaimer in part one, there's a disclaimer in my book and, I, and there's a disclaimer I'm saying again, I'm not a medical doctor. Go to your doctor and do your own research, okay? Do your own research. And when you do and you find out any of these remedies that help you, Please come back here, comment, let me know. It will be very encouraging to me. Subscribe to my channel, like and comment. And that will be encouraging to me and to other people who are sitting around suffering unnecessarily. Unnecessarily, okay? So the next remedy, right now I am on page 119 of my book. Page 119 of my book, Uva Earth Side. Uva Earth Side. Like millions of women, I have suffered for many years with frequent bladder and urinary tract infections. I drank cranberry juice to relieve some of the very uncomfortable symptoms. However, due to my stomach being sensitive and juice causing me to bloat, I did not enjoy consuming cranberry juice. One day I was getting ready to go out of town and I started feeling the discomfort of an irritable bladder or UTI. I did not want to have to rush to urgent care during my trip. Therefore, I went to my favorite health food store and grabbed a bottle of Uber Side. I bought the liquid extract sans alcohol. In less than an hour, I felt much better. And in less than three days, I had no symptoms at all. I am very grateful to Father God for creating this awesome herb. Now I utilize it each time I have any bladder discomfort. However, since using it the first time, recurrent bladder or tract infections are almost non-existent for me. If you suffer from any bladder problems or UTI, then you may benefit greatly from Uber I don't have a bottle, but it also comes like this. The, the extract bottles here comes in bottles just like that. You can also get a tea. If you can't find one without alcohol or sugar, and so I don't like alcohol or sugar in any of my medications, and what I'll do is I'll buy the tea that comes in a box, just like a regular tea box. I'll get that, you can get it as Swanson Vitamins, and then I'll just make the tea, and that way I have no sugar, no alcohol in it. I can make a nice big cup and just sip it over the next few days. And, and Uber Earth Side, it's another one of those, those medicines, it's, like, it's a lifesaver. I just take it, I don't have to go to urgent care. You know every time, especially us ladies, we get we get urinary tract infections, they say 50% more than men do. So we're always getting these things. And it's just so convenient to have something at your house that you can just take, make it a cup of tea or get the extract, and then bam, you're well in two or three days. That's how fast the earth side works. I love it, love it. And it also has uh, it also helps with other different type of kidney problems and everything. Uber Earthside, I didn't mention it here in this book, but there is a lot of remedies for Uber Earthside. You can research them online or in the book Back to Eden. You can research it in there. But there's a lot of health remedies, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, uses for 
for over earth side when it comes to health problems definitely that's something you want to have in your house all of these as you can see these this is what my medicine cabinet looks like i have these and i have a lot more too i have about another probably 10 bottles of different type of herbal remedies that i've discovered over the years okay so these are some other ones so these are just some of them that i have and so anyway over earth side earth side okay the next the next uh natural remedy god-given remedy uh, is valerian root valerian root if you suffer from insomnia and need a break from prescription or over-the-counter sleep aids you may want to try valerian root it may be used for anxiety panic attacks or any kind of stress it's also used it's also used for lowering blood pressure healing stomach ulcer and cleaning up acne mostly though valerian is known for its natural sedating properties and will help you relax throughout the day and help you sleep at night. Make sure you use it only when you are not expected to dry due to its ability to cause drowsiness. It is not to be used by pregnant or lactating women. Use it sparingly and follow directions, all directions. I purchased the tea or the alcohol-free liquid extract because it's fast-acting and I normally take it right before bedtime or throughout the day as needed. So I do have some valerian right here. This bottle is empty. i got to get some more because... Of course I use it and then this lowers high blood pressure if you have high blood pressure you may want to try this my son has high blood pressure and he's a truck driver so he has to uh, make sure he keeps his blood pressure low or sometimes he get headaches or or whatever you know I guess symptoms from his uh, high blood pressure he'll take valerian root a day or two and his blood pressure drops 10 20 points this stuff works you want to try this. A lot of these medications, I'm telling you, go to the doctor. It's just a Band-Aid. They're, they're not curing you. This will cure you. And if nothing else, it won't cause all those bad side effects from taking the medication the doctor's putting you on. The bottle says only take for a few weeks, but the doctor's put it on you for 5, 10, 20 years, the rest of your life. And then we expect to not have any major health complications from it. And then we'll have another major health problem. Then you have to put us on another prescription to, to put a Band-Aid on that health problem caused by the last, the last prescription. I hate it. I hope this is making some of you get passionate and, 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 and upset a little bit like Jesus was when he turned over the tables with the money changers. You know, we need to be upset. We need to get riled up a little bit and say, no, I'm not letting these doctors do this to me anymore. I have some loved ones. I have some family members. So I'm not going to say any names in. It drives me crazy how they just allow these doctors, it's, it's almost like they see these doctors as God or something. Doctors are not God. They are not God. And I just see some of my loved ones, they go to these doctors all the time, and they're still not well. They still have all these health problems, and, and, and they're not well. They're not well. As a matter of fact, the health is getting even worse. So, so valerian root, valerian root is, uh, is one of the best health remedies especially for insomnia or lowering blood pressure is valerian. So, so anyway, so that's my book. That's what I covered in my book, my natural herbal God-given remedies. From this book right here, I encourage you to get a copy. There's so much other great information in this book, The Godly Woman's Guide to In and Out of Beauty. I love it. Is, uh, I read quite a few books, but this is one of my favorite books right there. Okay, so I have covered most of these with you. Now, I promised you, and I keep my word, I promised you I was going to share with you some remedies. Okay, some remedies that's not in the book. And the remedies, that I'm going to share with you the health problem and then the remedy. Okay, the first health problem, the solutions to these are so easy, you're not going to believe it. Okay. The first major health problem that I also suffer for, from is arthritis, is arthritis. If you have arthritis, especially rheumatoid arthritis, there is one solution. Quit eating bread. Stop eating bread. A lot of people, they have celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, and they eat bread, it causes inflammation, and the inflammation is arthritis. I discovered this. This was... Over 10 years ago, I had really, really bad arthritis, really bad arthritis. And I went to the doctor, and he didn't have nothing. I said, what can you give him? He said, just take aspirin. I cannot believe it. I cried all the way home. Because I really can't take aspirin because my stomach is so sensitive. So I can't take aspirin. So I cried all the way home. I'm like, there's nothing. I was, all, I was pretty much on a cane by way of getting a wheelchair because that's how bad my arthritis was. So I did a lot of research like I usually do. 
And I discovered that eating bread or to stop eating bread would cure arthritis. So I found this website, this lady, I was like, okay, what else, what, can, what do I have to lose? So I quit eating bread. A month, about a month, exactly 30 days later, all my symptoms of the arthritis had disappeared. Had disappeared. And so, I, of course, I was I was so excited. I could not believe it because I didn't have to use a cane anymore. Didn't have no fear of being in a wheelchair. All because I quit eating bread. That's arthritis. There are so many women are suffering from arthritis and they don't need to. All they have to do is, is stop eating bread. And that's not really taking the medication. It's just stopping eating something that's not good for you. Usually as we get older in life, our body cannot handle the things that it could handle when we were in our 20s and 30s. And so we, but we keep eating the same. We have the same unhealthy diet and that's not good. So then we start having these health problems and one of them is bread. So just try it, test it. If you suffer from arthritis, quit eating bread for at least a month and see what happens. And I'm pretty sure you'll have results in a week or two. Okay, you'll have results. I'm telling you, come back here and you let me know. Okay, the, nurse, the next health problem I'm gonna share with you right now that millions and millions of people have is GERD or acid reflux. GERD or acid reflux causes major health problems. A lot of people think they have asthma, dying, having a heart attack, everything. That's how bad the symptoms can get. It's really painful. It's really painful and the heartburn it causes. Wakes you up in the middle of the night, can't even sleep. What is the solution for GERD? It's not Prilosec or those medications. It's not those are temporary band-aids that's going to cause major health problems like I shared in part one. Okay, you don't want to take you don't want to take those over the counter things. What you want to take is apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is like a tonic. It will firm and tone up your stomach and your digestive digestive system, and it will get rid of the uh, GERD. It won't just put a band aid over. It will heal your stomach. I discovered this taking apple cider vinegar. I was taking it for another problem, health problem, can't remember what it was, but it toned, firmed up my stomach because I have GERD. Take apple cider vinegar, I can literally feel it tightening, firming up my stomach. Also, aloe vera juice, what I shared with you earlier. Aloe vera juice, I shared with you in part one, that will also heal your stomach from the damaging effects of the GERD. Okay? So, apple cider vinegar, heal yourself. You can also eat yogurt and take probiotics. And if you're overweight, your doctor may not tell you, but I'm gonna tell you, lose some weight, especially around your midsection, and you will pretty much have no more symptoms of GERD and acid reflux, okay? And speaking from experience, I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this, this is from the Lord, it's from the Lord. The next health problem that a very easy remedy is, is a sore throat. A sore throat can be very painful. We get a sore throat and it's like, you know, it's, I hate sore throats. It's like the one of the worst health problems is a sore throat. I hate a sore throat. It's so uncomfortable. I'm sure you agree. The remedy for sore throat is olive leaf. Olive leaf. I take olive leaf uh, for my sore throat. The minute my sore throat is sore, I take olive leaf. This is the extract version. This comes in a spray. It's called Olive Leaf. I can't think of the brand name, but you can do some research. You can find it. There's a spray. You comes uh, as Olive Leaf. It's mixed with something else. You just spray it on your throat. No lie. Two to three days, if not the next day, your sore throat will be gone. And that's just from Olive Leaf. I love it. And this stuff has a lot of other, this cures so many other illnesses. I don't have time to go. I don't have, I'm not able to go over it with you in time. But Olive Leaf. You definitely want to try that. You want to try the spray, especially. Okay, okay. So the other health remedy that I have to share with you, remedy for a health problem, is gallstones. Is gallstones. I was diagnosed with gallstones. I'm gonna say almost ten years ago, five or ten years ago. The worst pain. The worst pain. Gallstones is so painful it'll make you vomit. It is so painful and it will send you to the emergency room every time and it's so painful the cure they give you to heal you at least from the symptoms is they give you this shot of what is it, opium heroin or whatever I hate drugs i hate drugs but that pain from gall having a gallstone attack is so painful 
It will bring you to your knees. It will make you cry. It will make a grown man cry so painful. So the remedy for gallstones is lemons and olive oil lemons mixed with olive oil the remedy is in the book back to eden that i share with you the goat is in this book the remedy is in here i did this i was diagnosed with gallstones i had went to the hospital at least about three or four times from having a gallstone attack i finally got tired of it because it's so painful and it'll catch you off guard you're at home in the bed think you're gonna go to sleep next thing you know you're in the emergency room because it's so painful. So I went to this doctor. They did me an x-ray or ultrasound. They said, you have gallstones. Well, let's do surgery and cut your gall your gallbladder out or whatever they take out the surgery that millions of people have that they succumb to. I looked at him. I said, uh, I got to talk to God first. I talk to God first and I'll get back with you. Of course, he didn't like it. <laughs> they don't like hearing that. But this is my body. <laughs> this is my life, right? I'm not just going to succumb to someone just cutting me open. Okay, so anyway, they had gave me a whole bunch of pills to take whatever. I took them for a little while. And then, of course, they have these bad side effects, which leave you bloated and can't sleep at night. Just, oh, I hate, I hate prescription medication. I hate taking it. So, with the remedy for the gallstones, you take, I think it's about 10 lemons. You got to look in the book now. You got to look in the book. It's called a gallstone flush. It's like 10 lemons, and then you mix it with some olive oil. I recommend uh, organic olive oil the highest virgin virgin organic olive oil you mix it together you drink it it's, it's about i think it comes to almost it's a big jar by the time you mix it you gotta follow instructions in the book and then you drink it and then you take a a uh a woolen cloth i think it's a woolen cloth i can't think of the name of it you put it over your stomach with a plastic bag and a heating bag and you massage it you massage your, your gallbladder area where the pain is. I had my husband help me do this. I drank the solution of the lemons and the olive oil. He massaged my stomach. The next day, if not the same day, the very next day I went to the restroom and I saw the gallstones in the toilet. A whole bunch of them. I'm going to say at least 20 or 30 in the toilet. The gallstones I saw in the toilet. I cannot believe it. That was about three years ago, probably not that long. I have not had a gallstone attack since. Never had to have my gallstone, my, my gallbladder removed. I try to warn people of this, tell people of this. I know what's wrong with some people. It's like they just rather go to the doctor and have their gallbladder cut out. But I would tell you something. If you get your gallbladder removed, I heard the doctor say, but that's not my opinion, you can still have a gallstone attack. So it's like, what good is it? What good is you taking out my gallbladder if I can still have a, have an attack? I don't want that. So this remedy will get rid of them. You don't want to keep eating a bunch of junk food. You don't want to do that because then over years, over time, probably not three to five years, you're going to develop more gallstones. You don't want to do that. So you want to be very leery. The bottom line is you don't want to be eating a bunch of fast food or fried food because that's what brings it on in general. Okay, so that's all you got to do is take this. This is it. That's why I did. I haven't had my gallbladder removed. And I meet people. You ever had my gallbladder out? I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for them. I'm not letting anybody cut on me. So far, the only surgery I've had to have, I've had very few surgeries where anyone had to cut on me. And those were before I learned about these remedies that I'm sharing with you. Okay, so the last remedy that I want to share with you, this is the greatest remedy I'm going to tell you right here. I cannot believe this remedy. My husband is the one who shared this remedy with me. Matter of fact, a little over a year ago, he shared this remedy with me, and I cannot believe it. What the remedy is, this is for food poisoning. This is for food poisoning. A lot of times we go out and eat at these fast food restaurants. I must have ate a cheeseburger. I can't really remember. It's a cheeseburger or chicken. I went to a fast food restaurant. I enjoyed myself. Ate the food. About an hour later, I started feeling really nauseated and really bad diarrhea that comes from food poisoning. I knew it was from what I had ate because it didn't take long to make me sick. So I was like, really? Like, oh man, I want to go to urgent care. I want to go to the doctor. I was on a vacation, just didn't want to deal with it. So I called my husband, tell my husband what's going on. So he goes, honey, do you have any peanut butter? And I love peanut butter. 
So I'm like, yeah, I got peanut butter. He's like, okay. And he was real hesitant to tell me this. And so he finally tells me, take a tablespoon of peanut butter. He said he had learned this in the military somewhere because he was in the Air Force. They were out in the field, and if something happens, they ate something crazy, whatever, that they should take peanut butter. So I said, okay. I'm like, this ain't going to work. I'm like, really not, not believing this. It's too easy. So I said, okay, fine. I'm going to listen where I got to lose. So I had some peanut butter, took a tablespoon of peanut butter. No lie. Not even 30 minutes later, my nausea was gone and my diarrhea disappeared. I'm not exaggerating. Within an hour, I was cured of the food poisoning. Normally, I would have had diarrhea for at least three days and been nauseated, if not throwing up, and would have had to go to urgent care. I did not have to do any of that simply from taking peanut butter. I could not believe it. The peanut butter I took is the kind that doesn't have any salt or any sugar. It's natural peanut butter. I even think that's the name of it, natural. And I just took a tablespoon and ate it. I cannot believe it. And I told my husband, I said, I cannot. I said, why you didn't tell me this before? Because I remember having food poisoning before and he didn't tell me. But this time he did, so maybe he had forgot about it or whatever. But it just saved my life. I, you know what I'm saying? To me, it saved my life. So whenever I have any type of food poisoning, that's what I do. I run and take the peanut butter, and it works every time. And I just think I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I hope I'm wrong. But I know a lot of little children, people take their kids to these fast food restaurants. They get sick, take them to the hospital. They can't cure them, and the kids wind up dying of food poisoning. And I'm thinking to myself, do they know about peanut butter? Are they letting these kids die? Because all they got to do is give them a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and they'll be well. And they're letting these millions of children die from food poisoning. I hope I know what I'm talking about. If some of you know what, then maybe I'm off. Put a comment below. Let me know. But I think that's what's going on. That's crazy. That's insane. But this is a crazy world we live in. So I shouldn't be surprised. None of us should be surprised. None of us should be surprised. It's a crazy world. So those are my health remedies from my book. And some extra ones that are not from my book. But most of them are in my book. And this is a wonderful book. This I just love this book. Love this book. One of my favorite books. But I encourage you to get a copy of my book. Get a copy of my book, ladies. So And give to share it with your loved ones. Share it with your loved ones. They will love this book. I'm telling you, you won't believe all the stuff that's in this book. Besides uh, natural health remedies. There's a lot of stuff in your spiritual, just everyday life. How to lose weight. Everything is in this book right here. So, so there you have it, ladies. I just hope this has been a blessing to you. Whoever is listening in, God bless you. I hope this has been a blessing to you. If it, if it has, please like and subscribe and share with your family or friends. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, let me know. I always respond to all my comments and everything. So God bless you. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.